Alrighty guys, I have got a real spicy game for you this go around. Um, I'm going to be trying to show you how to play some Top Leona, but <laughs> a little bit of a twist. Uh, just go ahead and check out these teams we have for a second here. Uh, yeah, Kha'Zix Top, you know, uh, <laughs> support or ADC, Elise, support in Italy. It'll be good. Be, this will be a, uh, a real spice game. So, let's see how it goes. I have never once in my life faced a top Kha'Zix, and I've been playing since Alpha. So, let's see how this goes, shall we, boys? An eclipse? Where? I don't see anything. Love it. So, a big part about... Interesting. A big part about playing top Leona is the fact that I can just win trades pretty handily. Uh, no problem at all. Um, but it'll only be into the later game. Early on I want to play it pretty defensively. Uh, he's dead here. He started with his rockets, so that's just a free kill. Okay, we got the double ignite on him. Bit much maybe, but uh, hey, got me my lane dominance, so that's fine. Should be able to get a nice little level on him. Unless he stays, in which case this is going to be even easier. Get out of here, bug. So I want to just go for short little bursts and quick little trades. I don't want to really overextend or do anything crazy. He's going to have a lot of early game damage on me. Just because he's Kha'Zix in a 1v1 lane. Looks like he knows what he's doing too. He's trying to drag it out. Yeah, he got that little bit too spike on me first. Feels bad. I am but one light. Having to rethink everything I know right now to play this game. I just wasn't ready for the spice. Ah, mana. It's fine, we just gotta be patient and draw out this fight. His sustain's pretty good. Yeah. Easy peasy though. He just blew all of his mana trying to do that little trade there. There we go, minions. Doesn't have flash. Nice little easy kill. There we go. Got him. You have slain an enemy. Cling to the twelve. Always fight around minions. True darkness swallowed them. An enemy has been slain. Just trying to get that level four real fast. There we go. An ally has been slain. Right, I'm go ahead and get my beyond. Oh, patron of light. Oh, impassive eye. Wouldst thou uh -oh. aid thy chosen vessel? So typically I would rush a TM at. Uh, armor probably would be a better choice right now in this particular lane, but it's fine. It's whatever. Should be able to nice get some nice little trades on him. The reason I go for the TM at first, typically, is to help with my wave clear. Oh man, he even got a coal. Is to typically help with my wave clear. That way I can really kind of push in when I have to, and it also gives me an extra auto reset. Um, a big thing about the auto resets is with Leona already having a built-in auto reset, it's just incredibly nice to keep the constant damage flowing. Let's see how he works here. Pretty darn aggressive. Uh, Zach comes up, is basically a free kill. Got him right here. Easy. Yep. Thought so. Wait for it. Wait for it. And. Got him. I 
another big part about Leona is there's a lot of ways you can build her top. You can build her basically pure tank, fresh sunfire, bomby sender. You can build her bruiser, which is what I'm going to be doing just because I personally find it more fun. Uh, you can build her more of like a roaming kind of gank support. I mean, there's a lot of options you can do. Really want to crash his wave in before he gets back up here. This is going to be huge if he loses out on all these minions. All good. I'm gonna go ahead and reset and get myself a team at. Oh silver flame. Oh empty stone. I beseech you. It is but a small thing to fight for good. And there we go. Nah, keep being. Yeah, always make sure you guys know where your jungler is and work around your jungler. What is the dawn but a portent of the Hang world on. to come? Sorry about the harsh marks, uh, mic sounds there. I just got myself a pizza delivered. And let's do this. As you can see, I'm not even really worried about fighting in the middle of the lane here. I'm free not here to kill. Oh. Yep, they never get to escape. Oh man, that whole sentence. Snuff out this simpering ember. I'll just get a plate here and then back off. There we go. Never greed for those plates, guys. Greed is what gets you killed as I proceed to greed a little bit. Just want to show this little wave in, make him lose it. Yeah. All good. I can actually probably take him here again. As long as I fight within that wave, it's all good. I think I'm gonna actually end up rushing armor this time. Go back, get boost, get armor. I'm holding my red just because I haven't really had any jungle pressure yet this entire game, so I'm not too worried about it. Let us put this land's evils to rest. Be a double kill. Hopefully, not a double kill for them. It's gonna be close. Ah, he'll be fine. Nah, he won't be fine. But uh, he tanked two turret shots for me, so that's a free kill. Okay. Ah. Mumu's getting big. Is unnatural, this vermilion twilight. Now that Mumu's getting big, I'm gonna keep things warded up. I know it's a sin not to be warding 24 7, but I don't really want to drop him unless I absolutely have to. Upgraded his rockets first. Alright. I whiffed my ult there. Sadly, I don't have the mana to really stick around to fight him. I'm gonna let him shove in. If he tries to dive me, I got him. I've got just enough mana for a stun and a shield combo. Wait. 
whiffed all of those minions, but it's fine. Cut down that healing he can do. Turn thine eyes to our patron. An eternal ring, grim and flame. Yeah, he ran over, got the scuttle full healed. Got a nice little survivability, surprisingly. This time, if I don't whip my whip my ult, should be a nice little free easy kill, especially since he's out of mana. This wave is mine. There we go. So I want to come help gank here. Mumu should probably be coming up for me. We'll see. Nope. Never mind. Figured he'd get pretty aggressive with that play. Long is the night. That mm. gem might be able to keep him in the fight long enough to win. The sky has opened. The enemy has been slain. Memo's probably coming. He's getting a lot ballsier than usual. Ruin has come to me. Hide nothing from me. Yeah, I'll stick around, grab the next wave. But yeah, this is definitely one where you want to practice it a good bit, get kind of more used to it. A lot of people consistently forget about how strong and move his bot lane, so I'm not too worried. A lot of people consistently forget that Leona actually has some incredibly high damage. Her trade potential is crazy. She's a pretty front-loaded character. Alright, so he's missed a few waves now, so that's good, but he's still beating me somehow in CS. This will be fine. I want to start, I'm automatically building into my Titanic, just because Titanic with the reset is pretty disgusting. Um, there's also a few paths you can take. You get the Sunfire, you can get the Titanic, you can get the uh, Trinity. A lot of different routes you can take this thing. The biggest part is just remembering to focus on one item. Don't try and get as many different items as you can. Pick one and sit on it. Another free kill here. Oh, buddy. He's gonna jump away, but it's fine. With your ult being on such a low cooldown, don't be afraid to really use it for things like that. Just because I know it'll be up again here in the next I am minute. One light in an endless abyss. And now that I know I win these trades, the well, now that I'm really sure I win these trades, every chance I get I want to try and take a fight with him. Except for when he pushes under turret like this. To face these veiled terrors, we must know them. Yeah, he's just letting me push in. It's fine. As soon as I push in, I want to get a little bit of a roam going. One below. Go. Get some wards out. Gonna head mid. 
take these. Cling to the twilight, lest true darkness swallow thee. Should be a nice little free kill up top here in a sec. I'll start to finish it, especially since there's an Amumu coming. Yeah, one nothing to do with that. Mumu is pretty big. Granted. Mumu is going tank Mumu, thank god. Uh, still, don't like it. And typically when I do this, I like to max W, just because of all the defensive stats it gives, plus the nice little burst damage. I also like to pick up my E just because it reduces the cooldown significantly better than really any other ability. And I don't really need to increase my Q because my trades are already doing plenty. All it does is increase the damage of each hit. Now that he has Phage, this is going to be a bit of a rougher one. There we go. Just want to get a few trades with him. Unless he wants to just all out me again. Kind of whiffed my... Uh, CC there, push Q a little too early. And it missed the caddy. All good. Gonna pick up Titanic. And get myself a Sheen. One issue you'll run into when running this build is you guys will run out of mana pretty quick. Uh, so just kind of keep that in mind when you're trying to do your trade. That's why I be so frequently, just so I can have my mana up. And I'm not too worried about the actual farm of things. My main concern is just keeping people locked down, keeping them from being able to get carried, or from being able to carry, keep top lane completely CC'd. And I'm uh, not sure if I said this or not, but if the jungler comes, it's always nice to be able to just give them free CC, free lockdowns, especially if you have like a, I don't know, a Wukong jungler or something, some crazy jungler that can actually carry the game. Nice little easy kill again. Can't wait for that one. It's all good. Nope. Whipped it. But yeah, like that. It's just once you kind of start going, you're close to unstoppable. And if he sits right here, that's a free kill for me. Pop. Just like that. Turrets don't mean anything when you have all the armor in the world from your passive W. It's nice. I typically run this into any lane I can too, um, or any laner, as long as it's not a Garen. The thing about Garens that make them so annoying to deal with is the fact that they can constantly take your early trades, your little pokes, and they can just walk away from you. Um, when they do that, they just pop back into lane full health, so you can't really get anywhere. So he's my typical go-to ban. Um, tried this a little bit earlier against a Fiora, ended up actually winning pretty hard in that. Just gotta remember when you fight a Fiora, keep your vital points that she spawns against walls, and you can typically take trades, no problem. Looks like Zach's gonna have himself a bit of trouble on my way. Hopefully I can catch this Kha'Zix as he comes to help his little buddy. Now if I get 2v1'd, then it's a problem. This Kha'Zix doesn't learn. Another nice little free kill. And if he stealthed away, which I figured he did, Zach's gonna get him right here. Perfect. All good, not worried about it. Don't know why I eat there. Hello friend, I'll burn you for it, there you go Zach.
right here, I am in a bit of a pickle. So I'm just gonna try and get a kill while I can. There we go. I like Zach's balls. Just not quite enough damage. Oh, no, wait. Nice. There we go. Ooh, my spelling. But as you guys kind of saw there, I was able to just sit in that fight, take as much abuse as I wanted, and still kind of deal with them just because of all the AoE I bring. There it is, GG. So yeah, that's kind of it. Just make sure you guys put pressure on them. Make sure you kind of go for those ins and outs and trades. Don't try and overdo it any. And uh, buy your time, be patient with it, and you'll eventually be able to push in. Hey there guys, thank you so much for watching my Top Leona guide. If you guys like this sort of content, please let me know in the comments. And if you guys know anybody else who might like breaking the meta, you know, doing anything they can that's kind of off meta, show them this video, show them around. I'll do whatever I can to kind of put more videos out there. So if you have any ideas, just let me know. Uh, hope you guys have a good day though. Peace.